what's going on guys? Tyler here, I'm back for another Q&A session to help you look, feel, and perform your best. Got a good one from Margaret today. And Margaret asks me, what equipment at the gym should I avoid and why? And this is a great question because uh, I've been going to the gym here at this new place I moved into recently uh, just to get a feel for the facility, for the town, and um, every time I go to the gym, I get great content for videos and emails because people just do the most insane stuff at the gym. You know, like just the other day, I saw a guy there, super jacked, right? So when somebody's really ripped, you think you could walk up to them and, and tap their mind for advice. But this guy was doing a one-legged stand on a BOSU ball, hinging forward at the hips, doing a tricep kickback with a five-pound dumbbell, right? So. Anybody who walked up to him would say, hey, how did you build your triceps? He'd be like, like this. You know, I stand on a BOSU on one leg, I do a tricep kickback. That's insane, right? That's not how he built his triceps. He built his triceps in one of two ways. He did some strong, heavy, or volume-based work, so like dips, push-ups, bench press, tricep push-downs, bench dips, right? Those build strong triceps, big triceps. Doing tricep kickbacks on a BOSU ball on one leg, don't do anything but confuse the crap out of people at the gym, all right? Because they want to do that because it looks fancier than what they're doing with the rope or a close grip bench press, okay? But the reality is you get better results from doing functional full body exercises rather than doing these insane quasi-functional isolation dr drills, okay? So back to the question. I know I went off topic there, but I wanted to make sure that that was a point I was trying to make. The gym is an insane place. Don't take advice from people at the gym unless you can really trust them, all right? What should I avoid? I would avoid cardiovascular machines that don't mimic real life movements. So cycling, fine. Rowing, fine. Um, stair stepper, yeah, I don't know about the stair stepper so much. I'm wishy-washy on that one. The elliptical, I'm not really a big fan. You're doing this motion that you would never really be doing in real life, so I'd avoid the elliptical. I would avoid the stair stepper. But by all means, get on a cycle, get on a get on a rower. Those are fantastic pieces of, of, of uh, machinery. And then the treadmill is gonna be give and take. Some people think the treadmill is bad because your eyes don't actually see things crossing you while you're running. Have you ever had that experience where you get off a, a treadmill and you're like, oh my God, like, um, I feel like I'm falling forward as I get off. You're like, oh, you do that kind of weird thing off a treadmill. So there could be some negative benefits to a treadmill, but you know, they're kind of in the middle, okay? So that's a cardio side of things. I would avoid uh, the stepper and the elliptical, and I would really stick to the bike and the rower. Those are my favorite ones. And uh, you know, actually recently, I've been into the infinity rope, the thing where it's a rope and you just keep climbing like this. Friggin' fantastic cardio machine, killer workout. Um, then the other thing I would avoid is uniplanar movement machines. So machines that are locked in to a fixed movement pattern that don't allow you free motion. So any machine that doesn't allow your body free motion, I would avoid that machine big time because you're really just training bad movement patterns that aren't gonna help you move better in real life. Maybe they can build some muscle, but I don't, I don't know about you, I don't really wanna build muscle that doesn't work, right? So. If you're gonna use machines, use the ones with cables. Use the cable machines, the, the, the higher or lower cable machines. They make a bunch of different cable machines so that your body can move in free motion. Use the dumbbells, use the barbells, use the kettlebells, use the medicine balls, use all the free weight equipment as well. Use the body weight stuff, the rings, whatever you have at your gym. Use that stuff and that way you get the best results possible. You look great, but you also perform great as well. You don't go to try to lift the dog food bag one day and fail because all you did was goofy, you know, waist turner movements on some machine, okay? So do real functional exercises, say goodbye to the steppers, the ellipticals, and the fixed motion machines, and say hello to fun functional training, all right? If you guys dig this video, like it, leave a comment. Let me know what pieces of equipment should you avoid at the gym, what do you think? Leave a comment below, let me know. Otherwise, I hope you enjoyed this video. I wanna help you look, feel, and perform your best. If you got any questions, leave a comment, let me know. Subscribe to the channel so you can get more videos just like this so I can teach you how to look, feel, and perform your best. All right? Thanks for watching.